Hello and welcome to Games on the Radar, my name is Menturius and in this edition of July we got some great new games. We got a Factorio building game, a horror game, a crazy shooter and a space explorer and an adventure. So without any delay, let's jump in the first game. The first game is from Coffee Stound and it's from the same makers as Goat Simulator. This game describes itself as a first person simulation open world factory building sim. So that's a whole mouthful. But for a lot of people this game looks a lot like Factorio and I guess that's what it is. You get dropped as an engineer on an alien planet with a task to complete project assembly. A massive machine for mysterious purposes so we don't know what it's going to do. But you have to pick up everything and build everything yourself. There are three main stages in this game, it's construction, it's automation and after that exploring the planet. This game does support multiplayer so you can play with three of your friends on a server and you can construct with your friends everything in this game. You got planes, you got a lot of construction belts, you got a lot of machinery in this game and everything needs to be connected, everything needs to be automated. That's the main goal, build a big factory, get all the resources you need. That way you can construct the cars and the cars can be automated, you don't need to drive them all the way yourself. So yeah, let's automate, let's automate the trains, like just like in Factorio. The graphic of this game looks amazing and that brings us to the generating planet. There are no generated planets in this game, not yet at least. The planet you play on is 100% handcraft. The planet size will be 30 square kilometers. So you got a lot of exploring to do and you better get yourself a car or a train because you're going to need it. And you need all the resources to build the mysterious project in this game. The release date of this game has not yet been set and if it's going to be delayed, it's going to be Simon's fault. So if you like Factorio, Check out the link below and uh, after you subscribe to my channel, put it in your wish list. The next game on the list is The Lighthouse. It is a unique crafted thriller with a glimpse into psychotic altered dimension. Private investigator James Irvin finds himself luring into the haunted neo noir world in search of a missing young woman named Lily Beaumont. This game takes place in February 19 and 1964. You will play as James Irvin, a former detective turned in private investigator in the state of Maine. Irvin is a man who solves the problem in the city. Many of the lucrative cases come to his office from the locals with various requests. These cases can be various requests from spouses looking to expose infidelity in their relationships to businesses owners looking to gather enough evidence to incriminate their partners but he doesn't know what's going to happen when he gets a letter under his door from his office and that's when the story starts of Lily Beaumont I'm not going to spoil much of the story because you have to find out it for yourself the key element of this game is the story and the sounds and the graphics in this game. So if you like a good horror story, put this game in your wish list and you won't regret it. The next game on the list is Guard Duty. It's produced and developed by Sick Chicken Studio. Guard Duty is a comedian adventure about love, loose and the end of the world. Experienced in a unique story spanning across two radical different time periods, be it the shabby streets of Rarington Wood or the crumbling cities of neon London, Happy After has never felt like such a fantasy. This game is for all your retro lovers. It brings you back to the 90s with a 320-240 resolution and point and click adventure. It's good old days like Day of the Tentacles that bring this game alive. This game is all about streamlined inventory and puzzle design. The feeling of the classic without all the paths. Puzzles are logical with an intuitive interfaces. God Duty features a modern mental to game design while retaining the classic puzzles. 
You can venture past Deadwood, north to the Wildlands, return to Wrinklewood for Swift Pine, but you can also explore the Neo London and all the secret it has. So this game's got it all. It's got the retro 90 looks, it got the beautiful music, it got two timelines that you have to venture, puzzles to solve. You know, if you're in the 90 games, check out Guard Duty and put it in your wish list. I got a link down below and uh, let's see if you can solve all the puzzles that this game throws at you because it's looking great. I just had the weirdest dream. It was like someone was trying to show me something, something really important. The important thing is, put it in your wish list. The fourth game on the list is Landonar Into the Void. Landonar is an action packed space adventure. You play as a captain down on luck, but eager to make a change. Get into your ship and set your path. So get in your ship and take on the contracts, fight the enemy and collect new technology to design and build your own spaceship. In Landon Art you decide what to do, who to talk to and who to fight and how big or how small your spaceship will be. In this game freedom is all you want, you got the choices, you decide what to do. So put this game in your wish list if you like the space explorer adventure and ship building game. It will be out in the third quarter of 2018. The last game of this month is Freak Out. Freak Out is a top down dual stick shooter. In this game you embody a hero who will fight insane enemies and who will be helping a crazy rebellion. This game is rough and intense. It's all about precision and your key strikes. You will die if you don't shoot, hit or move right. This game is inspired by old school arcade modes. Die and retry, shoot solo games, story starts point in a, inside a TV reality show, take place in a dire to be disturbed mutant universe. Can you handle the speed? Can you handle the precision in this game? Because you can have it all. The only thing you need to do is survive and shoot at the right moment and move at the right moment. This game got a wide diversity of enemies, a wide diversity of maps and yeah, a lot of challenges in every map you have to overcome. Is it many enemies or is it a complex map design that will get you killed? This game is set for July so put it in your Steam wishlist if you enjoy a good arcade shooter and if you want to go a little mental because this is going to get you some brain damage in the end. So these were the videos of July. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, leave your comment down below and if you want to see more of this stuff, subscribe to my channel and push the little bell. And hope to see you in the next video.